And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC26 meteorologist Matt Hoffman. It's been a rainy Sunday across northeast Wisconsin, still seeing now some of the heaviest rain falling across the area. It's turned pretty moderate across uh, Green Bay, down through Fond du Lac, as well to the lake shore. But some of our western communities, we are starting to see some of that rain lightening up and coming to an end. But still some steadier rain up towards Menominee, Forestville as well. Kiwani, fairly light rain, but that more moderate rainfall is just off to your west. Further to the south, Chilton seeing some moderate rain, and then back towards Fond du Lac, Oshkosh, and Appleton, some steadier rain as well. But drying out, just a few sprinkles lingering across Wapaka and Watoma. And as far as we go into this evening, look for this rain to push east, and we will see things come to an end as far as rainfall goes and also skies will start to clear out as we head through tonight as well. High res future radar showing that wet weather coming to an end over the next couple of hours by nine o'clock. It's out of here across the viewing area. Right now we're sitting at 51 degrees in Green Bay. That rain falling over Lambeau. West wind at seven miles per hour. Sunset is at 556 p.m. Also a little bit of reduction in visibility because of that steadier rainfall, especially where we're seeing more of that moderate rain, including in Green Bay and Oshkosh. Temperatures right now across the area, it's on the cooler side. Rain cooled air 50s for most of us. 51 in Sturgeon Bay, 52 in Mantuak. It's 50 in Oshkosh. 48 in Appleton, 52 in Shino, and 49 in Mountain. Winds fairly light, and they will stay light through tonight and into tomorrow as well. That cooler air has moved on in behind a cold front. Say goodbye to the 70s. We are going to see a much cooler week of weather for this week. We do have uh, this cold front that has produced the rain today, but there's a low pressure to the south and also a clipper system to the northwest, and those two are going to merge and give us quite uh, the storm system for Tuesday. We're going to see some late day rain showers tomorrow and then more wet weather tomorrow night into Tuesday as a very strong area of low pressure will be spinning over the Great Lakes, bringing us some very windy weather and enough cool air could get wrapped into the system where areas up to the north could see a little bit of a wintry mix for the first time this season. Your 24 hour planner looking like this. We will see that rain come to an end for tonight. Lows dropping down into the lower 40s tomorrow. A mix of sun and clouds and then those late day rain showers move on in later in the afternoon. Good day tomorrow to check out some of that fall color. I think a lot of areas in northeast Wisconsin will go past peak as this week goes on. Here's a look at Skycast. We are going to see again that rain coming to an end. Some clearing tonight, tomorrow, starting off with a good amount of sunshine, but then clouds will thicken up through the afternoon. Some scattered showers possible across northeast Wisconsin and more wet weather for tomorrow night and steadier rain as we move into Tuesday. There's that wintry mix off to the west and north possible earlier on Tuesday, and then we should see the rain come to an end. Tuesday night. Your forecast tonight, 40 degrees, clearing skies, showers come to an end as well. Then for tomorrow, up to 57, a mix of sun and clouds, late day showers, looking pretty likely. And then as we head on into Tuesday, windy and wet. And then a clipper system on Wednesday. There's going to be enough cool air in place where we could see a few snow showers mixing in across northeast Wisconsin, especially northwest of the Fox Valley. And then a more potent storm system again Friday into Saturday. That'll bring more wet weather and maybe even a few flakes Friday night into Saturday morning. I'm excited for some flakes. I love snow. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of the time of the year where we are, do start to see our first snows of the season. So Thanks so coming. much, Matt. Yeah.